So first things first, I kind of like to just fluff out my hair, make sure like everything's good to go. And then after that, I start sectioning my hair. Sometimes I'll section my hair into just straight down the middle. Other times I will section my hair into four parts. That way, so when I put the shampoo on my scalp, it really only reaches my scalp. I highly recommend that you only shampoo your scalp. I know some people like to put shampoo all throughout their entire head. And that's okay if that's how you do it. But I really recommend you only shampoo your scalp. That's what I've read and that's what I've seen in other YouTube videos. I actually only shampoo my scalp and when the only time I would put like shampoo all throughout the rest of my head is if I was, you know, coming from the beach and I have all this sand and all the ocean water and or if I was coming from the pool, then I will put shampoo all throughout my entire head. But other than that, I really just try to make sure I only shampoo my scalp. After I get the shampoo on my scalp, I like to scratch my scalp and massage it and, you know, really rub and moisturize like li really like rub and make sure like the shampoo is moisturizing getting really deep on my scalp and i'll like like i said i'll scratch the back of it scratch all around it just make sure everything's good to do good to go i do let shampoo like run through my hair i don't like make sure it like completely avoids the rest of my hair i will let it like run through and get in the rest of my hair but when applying it i only specifically put it on my scalp The next part is going to be the conditional. I normally only shampoo my hair once when I'm washing it and then when I'm doing sh um, conditional I will condition my hair twice in a row. I try to only do like conditional twice in a row every other time I wash my hair or every like other you know two or three times I wash my hair because I don't want to like mess up the ends but when I condition I never put conditional on my scalp. I only put conditional on my like you know maybe like an inch or two up from my scalp and then just the rest and i really try to make sure the conditioner sits on my ends in this video you know this that i really didn't like try too much to make sure it was on my ends only because i'm getting my ends cut in the next few weeks but typically i try to make sure it really sits on my ends and um sometimes i'll even put conditioner on my head and then i'll wrap my hair up in a ponytail or a bun and then I'll wash my face and shave and I'll let the conditioner sit on my head for about five minutes and then I'll go ahead and rinse it out. In this part, I am combing out my hair. I really like to just start at the ends and then work my way up. I know I've seen some videos where people start at the top and then comb through their hair. And I don't recommend that because you're almost just like ripping through your hair. I feel like it's better to start at the base and then work your way up to central because that way you're getting all the little tangled parts and then you're going all the way up to the top. Obviously, once you've combed through it, I would say maybe at least five or six times you've started at the bottom and worked your way up and you don't really feel too much of any tugging. Then I could see where you would start at the top and then go all the way down. But I feel like initially always start at the bottom and then go slow. Um, it may look, I sped the video up so this wasn't like an hour long video. It looks like I'm going really fast but when I comb through my hair I always try to go really slow so that way I'm not pulling and destroying it. And also... I never ever comb my hair when there's shampoo in my hair. I don't recommend that because shampoo makes your hair so dry. And I've tried to comb my hair when it's just shampoo and it sounds like it's breaking. It literally sounds like it's breaking and causing a problem. So I would recommend that you only comb your hair 
windows conditioner in it you start at the bottom also recommend that you don't use a brush i would say only use a comb but then again some people with different hair types like if your hair is more straight or i guess if you have more of loose curls i don't really know like hair texture like when people talk about oh my hair is like 4c or my hair is 3b or whatever um i'm mixed my hair is just like looks like a boat's nest it's like loose curls tight curls it looks crazy i don't know what exactly my hair texture is or my hair pattern so i only use i only recommend a comb if you have really thick curls but i guess if you have straighter hair you could use a brush but other than that that's pretty much what i do when i condition and also i try to let the conditioner sit for a while with the shampoo i just scratch my scalp and then immediately rinse it out but i i do try to let the conditioner sit for a second Okay, so next we're going to start by parting the heel. I like to part my heel. Sometimes I do four braids. Other times I'll do like ten. Sometimes I'll purposely braid cornrows in my face. And what I mean by that is I'll go to the very, very top of my head and I'll purposely braid cornrows um, so they fall across my face. Or I'll just do regular braids and I'll just braid hair all the way down across my face. So um, I basically just try to like part it and comb it out and make sure it's all good. I suck at parting. I really, really suck at parting. Let's not focus on the parting. So um, I basically just try to make sure I part my hair out, comb it out. Um, I comb it out in the shower, but obviously using such a wide comb, you're going to miss certain spots. So I try to go back and recomb it and recomb it. Sometimes I'll use a rat tail comb to comb my hair, but that's only if I know for a fact it's like really, really combed out. Um, the stuff I'm using is like this wild grow stuff. I'm not, it really like makes my scalp super soft. I use it like... It says it helps grow hair, but there's so much nutrients in it. That's really why I use it. Whether it helps grow hair or not, I just love it for the nutrients it provides for my hair. And I do know this without my dandruff is a lot better when I use it. And then the olive oil, uh, the green thing that I just put in my hair, I've been using that for years and years and years. Highly recommend it. It's not too thick, not too light on my head. I love it. Sometimes it's hard to find good products for my hair because if I use hair products that will... Um, you know, focus towards or um, advertise towards people with straight or hair, or if I use product for people that have more of a curly, like thick or hair, it either make my hair really, really dry or really, really oily. So I really like the pro like the products I'm using are like my most recommended. I do have a few other recommended products, and I can provide those in future videos. But for when I'm just like trying to get like a nice look like if I have work the next day or if I have school or something I'm really just trying to have a nice like easy hairstyle for in the morning I just comb my hair out put some put a little bit of cream in my hair spray my hair and then I'm good to go
Honestly, like, I might just leave it loose, because... Fuck it, also. Honestly, it's like a... This might be the move. I do my part. Oh, I didn't do five braids. I did four. I didn't do my part braid. Huh, you know what? This, this honestly might be a move, because I don't really put the mask on, put some hair in front of my face. I'm invisible. I'm invisible. Yeah. Low key. I should have I should have braided it down in my face because like literally I don't even want to be seen today. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely wearing my hair down. Okay. And then curly. Should have done. Sometimes, sometimes I do like a zigzag down my head so that way, or I do like it in like this type of way like it's like swirled like a like a like a super s all the way down so that way it um it doesn't have like a straight line it kind of waves into each other and sometimes i crisscross the braids but i cannot part wolf a fuck so i would never do that on camera like as you can see i cannot part but no it's super soft super shiny that's what i go for like the super soft i didn't um normally i do a lot more for my ends but i'm getting my ends like super cut next month for my sister's wedding i'm getting like my ends cut and my hair straightened because i only straighten my hair like once every six months maybe not even then yeah maybe like yeah i'm about to say like once every six eight months i don't really like my hair straight i really love the curls i really love the mess it's not even because of heat damage i just really like curly you know yeah, it's not even because, like, I'm worried about heat damage. I mean, heat damage is a problem, don't get me wrong. Heat damage is, like, a super huge problem, and people got to be super careful. But I just really love curly hair, and really just, I love these, this mess, my little bullet nest. But, no, that's the look, that's the fit. I'm going to look. The fit is Spongebob today, as you saw. That's what I, that's what I'm doing today. Okay, that's the video, though. As usual, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys.